I think fat is one of those sort of final frontiers of discriminations because most people see it as a preventable problem. So when I was 12, I was assaulted by a group of boys, and in the aftermath of that, I was just absolutely destroyed. You know, when you're traumatized, you're looking for some sort of comfort, and for me, comfort came quickly by way of food. I thought if I was bigger, then I wouldn't get hurt again. You know, I think that as a feminist, I believe that acceptance is incredibly important, particularly for women. But it's hard to hold on to that, you know, when you're sort of dealing with the world day in and day out, and when you're dealing with the kinds of discrimination and fat phobia that exist in the world. There are constant cultural messages about thinness and the way in which we equate beauty and thinness. The majority of American women are some form of overweight, and yet there are really only four or five stores that cater to women of size. Most people see it as something that's self-induced, and so they share their opinions loudly and vigorously at all times. And so you have to build armor to go out into the world, and I think this is true for almost everybody. That person that I sort of hyped up in my head is just like fearless, and she can do anything, and she always has the right answer. Um, they're two different people, but living in the same body somehow. Definitely the older I've gotten and the more I've been able to surround myself with loving people who have changed how I see myself, the easier it has gotten to believe that self-acceptance is possible and within reach. <laughs>